My me as I go for a Pokemon Go stroll in what is probably going to be the last day of the summer in London. But hey, I've got an important message that I wish to share with you guys, man. And it's about the importance of being original. Like for many guys, myself included, it's a pet peeve when, for example, so you've got a lot of guys that might stare at you in the gym, you know. Some guys might stare at you in the gym, look at what you're doing, and then copy you right there next to you. And I understand it because, you know, there's an old saying that goes like this, to see it, to be a man, you have to see a man, right? And this goes back to the root of what we often talk about, the importance of having men in their home, right? Young boys, young males, and that will also include young girls, lead by the example of the adult. We can see this in the animal kingdom as well, right? So it would figure that when people don't have that role model, that example to, to lead them, then they resort to doing things like that, right? To copying people, watching people, jacking people's style, right? Trying to emulate people, come onto social media and want to be exactly like the person that they're watching. You know what I mean? So in those cases, that is unfortunate and that is usually what will happen. But I'm, I want to tell you that as an individual, as a person, your most unique selling point is your own individuality. It's your own uniqueness, you know? And this is why when it comes to all the dating advice, you know, the relationship gurus out there, like when people try and copy and paste and perform these behaviors or, or certain mannerisms, right? It doesn't, it's really successful. And that is because if you're following someone's lead, you will never be the initiator. What I mean by that is that you will never know how to progress the situation if you're following someone's example, right? If that innovation comes from someone else, you will never know what to do next. And this is why there is a, uh, this is why there is a loop where people take other people's teachings, right? But then they are tethered to that content creator because, you know, when they go into uncharted seas, right, new circumstances, they, can't, they, want, they need the guidance from that content creator. They don't know what to do next, right? And so in many cases, you end up being disabled because, again, that concept, that idea is not of your own uh, birth, right? You didn't, you didn't think up that solution or that endeavor. And then there's also a, um, a character toll to pay. And that character toll is the fact that, you know, when people end up jacking people's styles, what they tend to want to do is not give credit. And so this affects your character because you, in, in the race to race to be unique right in the race to come up with unique talking points be the first one to say this be the first one to say that it also makes people selfish right makes people come across as greedy because they don't want to admit that they got certain ideas from certain people you know so it gives it it, it, it creates a stingy personality Right? A personality that doesn't want to give thanks, doesn't want to give credit, ends up coming across as a very self-centered individual. So that is the importance of being original. <laughs>